song covers the music and I ask you guys what you think about it and which do you prefer the cover or the original. But before we get into that, we've got My Business Right Tomorrow show right here, ready to start off uh, today's uh, show as always. We've got Victoria, the host as always, standing here waiting, standing beside with the guests for today, waiting to start off the talk. So we'll be right back with best of song covers when we're done with My Business My Tomorrow promo. Don't go anywhere guys. Welcome to the Late Mornings with Nima. Your background is not a reason for your back to stay on the ground. Who really are you? Who do you want to become? Is your business presently less than your vision? Do you have dreams and have no idea how to achieve them? Then join us as we push you to achieving your dreams on My Business, My Tomorrow, the MBMT Show, and Hit 95.9 FM every Thursday from 10 to 10.30 a.m. My Business, My Tomorrow, the collaboration of your business. How should marketing be done? She, um, a market woman will probably be at her business place. She doesn't feel marketing is important to her business. Probably be selling her water leaf or tomatoes and all of that. If you ask her, how is your business doing? She'll simply say, now nah, God do. But beyond opening her doors to just selling her tomatoes, does she feel marketing is important to her business? Diving right into the matter, we would be listening to a very very inspiring man he is michael williams an author public speaker and business consultant with over 25 years experience in marketing with firms like ford motors company jamaican tourist board the british army and moneygram international and most recently cross river state tourism bureau amongst others this is the author of number one selling book on Amazon, The More Three Formula, which is a guide for entrepreneurs to make more money from good, excellent customer services. Michael is passionate about helping entrepreneurs and SMEs to create profitable businesses through superior customer service. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Okay, marketing. It is said that it is key to every business growth. What to you is marketing and how can marketing help our businesses? Okay, first of all, let me clear something up. In Nigeria, people talk about marketing. Usually they mean selling. They're talking about sales. So if someone says, I'm a marketer, it really means they're a salesperson. And true marketing is the communication of whatever you're selling, your product or your service, to the public, to the people who are your buyers. And that starts with your quality of your product and your service um, before anything else. Okay, so I probably will just start a new business or have started a new business. How do I attract the right customers to my own product or service? The first thing is to understand who are your customers. It's amazing most businesses that start, I say to them, who are your customers? They say everybody and they are, that's never the answer. It's always a specific group of people or groups of people that you're targeting. So you might be a business that sells to other businesses. It might be that you are a company that primarily your market is housewives. It might be children outside the school mm -hmm. years. So you have to really, first of all, decide who they are. And then once you decide who they are, what is going to appeal to that audience? You know, is it quality, is it value, is it price? Some people will want the cheapest thing, other people won't buy unless it's the most expensive thing. Sure. And unless you know who you're selling to, it's very difficult to know how to market to them. So having said that, at what point of my business do I apply marketing? Or is it important I have a marketing plan before my business starts? Yeah, always. Before your business starts, you should have a business plan. And within that business plan, you have a marketing plan. And that marketing plan starts with the audience. Who am I going to be selling to? Okay, once you know who you're going to be selling to, what am I going to be selling? And, and what quality of product, what variety of product, what's the range? And, and then once you've decided that, you can now talk about how am I going to communicate this, you know, whatever I'm selling to this audience. Okay, so to so that woman sitting yesterday, I was passing the market and I saw a group of market women actually listening to the radio. So I'm sure I have some market women listening to me right now. So I'm in the market. 
how is the marketing important to me? I mean, after all, I can just sit down in front of my market. People are passing by and probably buying from me. So what simple strategies can I use to attract more customers to my people? If, if you're in the market, you know, it, it's interesting. When I'm uh, driving through the countryside, for example, in Nigeria, I will never stop because I never see anything that's attractive to me. When I'm in other countries, you see these beautiful displays, very colorful fruits and vegetables arranged in the most intricate patterns, and it just makes you go, wow. You just want to stop, see what they have, and buy. And if the fruits and vegetables